This is the Sony PlayStation Portable. When I was a kid, I wanted a PSP so bad, but I never had one. I don't really know why I never had one. I just didn't grow up with PlayStation. I had an Xbox and I had Nintendo. That was it. I never had a PlayStation growing up. Back in like the mid slash late, like early 2000s, the PSP really was like way ahead of its time. But the question I want to answer and talk about for you guys today is if the PSP is worth it in 2023. The short answer is straight up yes. It's definitely worth it. I think it's always gonna be worth it to pick one of these up. They're really not too expensive. I mean, you could get one, I think, for around like 50 to 100 bucks, I think, depending on the model and depending on what you get with it. This is the first model. So this is like the really thick one. This one's heavy too, like it's really heavy. I low-key like this more than the 2000 and 3000 series. Two and 3000 series are like a lot uh, skinnier, uh, I guess. This one just kind of feels better in the hand, to be honest. I got this one on Facebook Marketplace for $20. I had to buy a new battery though, and a charger for it, but everything ended up working just fine. It came with a game too, Lego Star Wars. Games for the PSP aren't like too expensive. I mean, you could find one thrifting like this. I got this Transformers game for $5 at Goodwill. The main reason why I think it's worth it to pick one of these up is because you can easily mod the PSP. But like right here, I got Midnight Club, we got Sonic Rivals, even got some PS1 games like Crash. Marvel vs. Capcom, which is a really fun game. This game on the PS1 is like $100. It's, it's insane. The value of it is crazy. Midnight Club 3, Gran Turismo, which I think Gran Turismo on the PSP is really fun. Spider-Man. And I also got a bunch of GBA, like Game Boy Advance games and stuff on here. Whole emulator. I have all the Pokemon games and everything. I prefer to play them like on the actual like Game Boy and like DS and everything, but... I mean, it's kind of cool that I have it. I don't really play it on here, but the best thing about modding and downloading games is that you don't have to hear the disc spinning in the back of the PSP while you're playing the game. It's a lot quieter. Oh my gosh, please, bro. There we go. You get like tons of games with an eight gigabyte SD card. I think I have a 32 gigabyte SD card in here. So I, I probably have like, I don't know, a few gigabytes in use already. Even though the PSP is super cool, I one day want to get a PS Vita. I think you can mod the PS Vita literally directly on the PS Vita. Like, it's insane. Like, seriously, like, just look at this console. Like, does that just not look sick? It looks so futuristic for 2005 it came out, I think. I know it's around 2005. I, I'm just not exactly sure. But look at this. Like, everything responds extremely well. The screen is so clear. It's crisp. I mean, it's probably, like... It's either 480 or 720 resolution, but like, it, it just looks so good. You can even hook up your PSP to your PS3, and I'm pretty sure you can like either use the PSP as another controller, or you can emulate your PS3 screen onto the PSP, something crazy like that. I've never tried that actually, but I, I'd like to give that a try one day. I have Gran Turismo on here from my modding thing system, whatever it's called. Oh shoot, how do I change the camera angle? There we go. Riding that Lamborghini Countach. I mean, like, the game just responds so well. I, I haven't played this game in months. I'm pretty bad at driving. Holy crap. Eventually, I'd like to do, like, a video of, like, my top five favorite PSP games. Because there are some hidden gems on here. I don't remember how to brake. I'm, I think it's... Yeah, okay, I was pressing the wrong button to brake. That, that explains a lot. If you guys get one and need a replacement battery, I recommend getting an OEM one. I bought a fake one. And the battery life just isn't amazing. Like, it, it dies really quick. Holy crap, I'm so bad at driving right now. I mean, I can still get, like, a good two or three hours of gameplay in with a full charge, I'm pretty sure, on my battery. But, I don't know. I think it depends on the brightness and everything, too. I mean, another obvious thing of, like, why it's amazing to have one of these is because it's so portable. Like, it's literally the size of an iPhone. It's slip in your pocket. You could, like, easily carry it around in your backpack, travel with it. It's the perfect thing for flights, I feel like, and like cart and road trips. You can download music on it, pictures, videos, and everything. You could take pictures and videos if you buy the accessory, the camera. The quality is awful though, but it's it's kind of aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? You could even really find one of these at like a thrift store or even a garage sale because I'm sure a ton of people have these just sitting in their closet, haven't been used in years, and they probably just want to get rid of it and stuff. I think the main reason you should pick one of these up in 2023 is just because, first of all, it's just so unique. It's not too expensive yet. Games really aren't too expensive. But if you want to just save a ton of money, you could easily mod it. There's a ton of tutorials out there on YouTube. It took me probably 10, 15 minutes to mod it. And there's a ton of websites that you could easily download games onto. 
and it's just such an easy process it really is but overall the psp is definitely something you should pick up in 2023 if you're interested in one if you've been thinking about it just go and pick one up it's definitely worth it you're gonna have so much fun playing it anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and i'll see you guys next time